Hey, what's up everyone? Thank you so much for coming back to my website at mariahdarshay.com. It's been such a pleasure because I'm sitting next to my girl, Shansaya. How are you, love? I'm good, I love you so much. Thank you, thank I'm you. Glad to be here. Yes, and it's so exciting because this video, we're gonna share just, you know, branding tips, tips and tricks on how to expand your social media platform. Yes. Um, but before I get into every, um, anything, I wanna just read this quote that really touched me. I truly love to inspire and challenge individuals to be their best transform their weaknesses into strengths and turn their hobbies into their full-time jobs. What? I need you to up. speak on that a little <laughs> bit because I feel like that that's everything. Yeah, I, 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 I think I got into my profession because I wanted to help other um, just emerging professionals. I think one thing that people struggle with is having that support and also having those mentors or just that guidance to help you along the way. Um, so all of the resources and tools and information I've received, I just want to help, wanna, let's help each other to be better. Yes, no, absolutely. And so, you know, just to jump right into it, you have been branding for such a long time. You have been just working with emerging brands and businesses, just trying to, you know, help take them to the next level, as you mentioned. So my question for you is that running across some of these brands, what are some of the issues that you see them facing that kind of hinders them to taking it to the next level? Um, I will definitely will say one issue is people not having the resources. Uh, whether that be the financial resources or just the tools that they need to propel their businesses. Um, and then of course, like I said, as far as having the relationships or mentors or just even in trying to build your team, I think that can be challenging. Um, and this is a different one, but I, I think people also um, struggle with having patience. Uh, and this journey of entrepreneurship or starting your own brand or evolving um, as a, a leader in any capacity, it's, it's a patient journey. And it takes a lot of patience, it takes a lot of endurance, um, and the process is not easy. So I think those are some of the challenges. Yeah, I, and you spoke on patience, which I think is very important because I feel like when you build a business and a brand, you wanna make sure that you are taking your time and that you are executing all of your plans accordingly, right? Absolutely. So my next question would be, what is the best way you would encourage someone to grow their social media platforms and following? Ah, that is a good question. I think in reference to your following, mm -hmm. yes, patience is one of those things because it does take posting consistently, posting at the right times, using the right captions and hashtags. But I also think just being authentic to who you are. I think not adopting someone else's style or how they post, but being true to who you are. People are looking to attract themselves to an audience um, that they haven't seen before. So there should be something on your page that they won't get somewhere else that attracts them to you, that makes them a fan of you um, and helps them to promote you. Um, and that takes time because it takes time for actually people to get to know you when you are being your authentic self. Um, and of course, a polished, refined version of, of yourself <laughs> since we're using, you know, uh, our social media platforms to build our businesses. Yeah. Um, but I think that, yes, that patience, but it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a molding or a mixture of a few things. Patience, the right post, um, I believe in picture and photo quality. Um, the right captions, the right hashtags, the right times, um, and, and using all of that consistently. No, absolutely. And you know what? Uh, you mentioned a person being authentic to make sure that they are relaying the message, you know, to the best of their ability. Yeah. And so how do you feel about trends? You know, because I feel like with some mm -hmm. businesses, you have to stay up with the trend. And so you will find the same content on one page and you'll find the same thing on another page. So how do you stay current with what's going on and then still be your true self? Um, if there's a way that you can customize that trend that would give it a different um, feel or approach, let's like talk about the mannequin challenge. You know, Ellen did the mannequin challenge right? in a whole <laughs> like profound <laughs> way that could not be compared to, yes. you know, maybe the Michelle Obamas mm -hmm. or just the different professionals. So there are trends that you can embrace and jump on the bandwagon and help to propel your page because everyone's looking for how many mannequin challenges they can watch. But try to be original, try to be creative in your thought process when adopting some of those trends. And then also know what trends are not for you. And um, I think that is the way you can embrace the social media trends. 
So what are maybe some tips that you can give, you know, growing businesses or maybe just brands who are trying to get themselves off, you know, off their feet? I know one thing that I definitely considered when starting my business was to count the cost to just consider every variable possible. I mean, you won't know until you're in it. Yes. You're in the, you, you find out you're in the deep and you just have to start swimming. Um, but if you can, consider the cost so that when you make a decision, you've made a solid decision. Yeah. That you're not, you know, uh, flighty in your decision making, but you've made a serious, uh, well thought out decision um, and you've considered the, the variables. So I think in counting the cost, that's one thing. And also being very honest about what your strengths and what your weaknesses are and operating optimally in your strengths, yeah. but finding that help where your weaknesses are. So if money is your weakness, don't touch the money. <laughs> handle, <laughs> handle the yes. operational side or handle the business side or handle the creative side, yeah. but find people that you can trust who can help you manage the financial side or manage the operational side or manage the contracts and negotiations. Um, but I think I found a lot of people who are like, I'm great at all of it. And no, you can't be great at Do all of it. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And to operate in your strengths. And if you try to operate in the wrong role, you're going to have your business suffer. Yeah. So to, to just know that lane that you're supposed to be in. And, and find help. I, I believe that teamwork makes the dream work. You know, and last but not least, I know that some of the issues that these brands may be facing are, is the number of their followers. I know that some of the larger companies look at your following and say, well, she has, you know, 30K followers. I want to work with her in opposed of a person that can create a lot of content right. um, and then may have something to offer, yet they have maybe 2,000 followers. So yeah. how do you kind of go about that? I know your following is pretty big. However, uh, it wasn't always this big. No, you had to grow absolutely. it. absolutely. I think one thing that is important is if you all, um, I don't know what industry you're in, but if it's a portfolio or a press kit or things like that, if you can show the, the relevance of the content you're producing. So if you're doing a YouTube video, maybe it's not your views, but maybe it's your comments. So you, that, that client, let's say, can see how interactive your, your platform is, or yeah. maybe it's not likes, but you do well on Instagram views, or your Snapchat has a really great engagement. Show what we're not seeing. You know, sometimes we look at the basic things like, oh, that photo only had 12 likes, but maybe you had 32 comments. Yeah. And therefore, that's more engagement than sometimes the people with hundreds of thousands Absolutely. of followers. Um, and so spell it out for us what we're missing about your brand that is great. Or, and also let us know what the potential is. What are your goals in the next 90 days? So if I collaborate with you, with you now, well, I'll be glad like I got to her before she was hot, you know? And what is it that you're gonna do to get to, you know, uh, before the new year, I plan to have, you know, a, a thousand more followers. Yeah and my engagement should be more, and I'm doing this collaboration with so-and-so. And you're gonna setting those goals and that. expectations. Yeah, so I think so. just communication and, and presenting that in a formal way, like a press kit or a portfolio, yeah. or just updating whoever it is you're, you're pitching to. But social media numbers, times have changed. They are important right now. Yeah. Um, they're so important to legitimizing your brand, um, for people seeing the value in your brand, it has now become the new resume. Yes. Um, so take it as important as you can, if that's an industry where you work in, because not every industry is that way. But I think especially for fashion, entertainment, the creatives, um, that's important as yeah. far as just legitimizing who you are and, and showing I don't know, your greatness. <laughs> I just want to wrap up by, you know, just telling them what you personally can offer so that if they have any questions sure. or anything they can know to reach out to you. Um, so, yeah, so if you guys have any questions on growing your brand or developing your brand, um, just feel free to contact me. One thing that I do to try to give back is I give one free monthly consultation to an aspiring entrepreneur. Um, uh, every month so you just can contact me directly or my team and we go through the selection process yeah. and I look at everything I right. mean right she does right. she she's the one who actually <laughs> checks her emails <laughs> I, I, I respond I try to be very accessible because um, I just remember what it was like and I'm still in my own journey um, I'm not where I 
hope to be. There's always new levels, but I'm grateful for where I am. And I like to give back in ways that I wish people had given back to me yeah. years ago. So yeah, reach out and I'd love to just look at where you are now and let's help you get to the next level. Yay! Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, I can't explain you. how appre Yeah, I can't She's explain how pre you guys. Yeah, I, I tried. So <laughs> yeah. I tried. Thank you so much. Um, you guys can watch all of these videos of more entrepreneurs, women bosses in the industry, yes. social media influencers, and more at MariahDarshay.com. And Shansaya, where can we find you at? Uh, just Chansea.com. That's branding for you. Just find my name, <laughs> which I'm sure is going to be listed yes, somewhere. It'll be listed below. Yeah, go, go in the description box, right? <laughs> yes. Like, comment, and subscribe, right? Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much, Dom. Yes, thank you. Thank you.